Hello my friends, I'm Sarah, welcome to Grace in My Space. Today, we are gonna be doing some spring decorating, focusing specifically on simple swaps. Now, I don't know about you, but spring decorating, seasonal decorating, it can feel a little bit overwhelming. Like you have to completely change your home from whatever you had for winter to a more spring summery look. But in my opinion, that's a heck of a lot of work that I don't wanna do. So what I like to do is focus on simple swaps. And that is just kind of the mentality that I have for all of my seasonal decorating. What can I keep in the space and what can I easily swap out without having to redo the entire room? And so that is what we are gonna focus on today. Today's video is sponsored with thanks to ButcherBox, and if you've never heard about them, stay tuned, you're gonna love it. Let's start out in the entryway where I started by editing. Sometimes you need to take away rather than add. And so I really simplified the space, added some beautiful faux hydrangeas that look extremely realistic. And I will link for you in the description and just really made this space feel quaint and cozy and welcoming. Now let's head into the kitchen for some really, really easy swaps. Now, obviously with tulips, you can't go wrong. Tulips equate to spring. It is nature's way of awakening the earth and being like, I'm finally here. And a big oversized statement piece of artwork that's very floral or springy, has vibrant tones, maybe it's got some nature in it. Anything that's kind of like along those lines is gonna do a lot for brightening up your space. Now, all that I did in the entire kitchen is added a vase of tulips, swapped the rug, and added the artwork. That's it. I try to make everything in my home very seasonless. So it can be out year round and I just swap in two or three things that are more season specific to either brighten it up or make it feel a little bit cozier for winter time or more minimalistic for summer. That's just how I tend to view the seasons. And for spring, all we gotta do is add some brighter colors. Now, these are the best faux tulips you're ever gonna find. They feel real, they look real, but what's most important and impressive is that the leaves actually also look real, which is the most difficult thing to find. A lot of times you can find petals that look real, but the leaves look fake. This looks like a real bouquet of tulips and you can bend the stems and that way they kind of droop which is very realistic and mimicking the way that tulips eventually do fall and also follow the sun. So these are my favorites. I'll link them in the description. These tulips are going on five years in my home. Well worth the investment. They last forever. I've got a couple of simple swaps that have nothing to do with decorating, but I feel like have made such a difference in our lives that I'd like to share. One, switching to making my own bread. This is for Kasha. It's gonna be fabulous. I started my bread making journey probably in February, maybe January, with the new year. And I just feel like it has made such a big difference in our diets and in just like my overall well being. I don't know. I just feel like it's a peaceful thing that makes me feel a little bit more grounded. I have really enjoyed it. Do you guys make homemade bread? Fresh rosemary right from my little topiary in the window. While this bakes, I wanna tell you about my other simple slop. Now I mentioned that this video is sponsored by ButcherBox and I'm really excited to share them with you. This is a simple swap that I have made a while ago because I really was wanting to have high quality meat for my family. And this is delicious, high quality meat delivered directly to your door. What's better than that? So if you've never heard of ButcherBox, they offer beef, pork, chicken, 
seafood, and now they're also offering things like turkey, bison, scallops, deliciousness. And so I want to show you what I got in my box. I have the extra large beef and chicken combo. Let me show you what comes in it. My parents had a farm where they kind of like inherited cattle a little bit when they bought the place. It's kind of a funny story, but I had grass fed beef for a very long time. And when they sold it, it went away and it was a very sad day. Butcher box to the rescue. So this is the beef and chicken box. Their beef is 100% grass fed, 100% pasture raised. Their chicken is all 100% organic free range chicken. If you get the pork, it's all raised crate free. And if you get the seafood, it's all wild caught from Bristol, Bristol, Bristol Bay, Alaska. Why was that hard to say? In all of their meat, there's no antibiotics and no added hormones. So let me show you what I got. In this one box, chicken tenderloins, chicken tenderloins, ground beef, beef roast, more ground beef, chicken nuggets, which I got the deal where you get free chicken nuggets. Free, this came free. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Sirloin steak, another roast, more steak, and then six packages of chicken thighs, which is what's for dinner tomorrow. As you can see, it all comes frozen with dry ice, and so you just pop it in the freezer as soon as it's delivered or you thaw for the evening. And like I mentioned in my box, I got free chicken nuggets because that is the deal that is running until the end of March. Free chicken nuggets for a year, and there are different deals that pop up all of the time. Highly recommend Butcher Box. The switch has made a huge difference for our family, not only in just ensuring that we're getting really quality meat, but it's also really convenient because this all just showed up at my door today. It was wonderful. Check out the link in the description to learn more about Butcher Box and see what promotion you can snag today. Oh, oh yum. There we go. That makes me happy. Now this holds a little secret. Right behind here, we have the guts of our surround sound system. And rather than trying to mask it some way, I just swap this out seasonally. And then all the electronics can breathe in there. It's not like tied up against the wall. So nothing overheats but it's easily accessible whenever we want to turn it on. So it's our little secret. Now let's do some swaps in the living room. I love these antique frogs. They are super, super heavy. It's probably made of cast iron, but it makes it much easier for your fake or real stems to stand upright if you have something heavy in the bottom that they can stick into. Now in this space, we simply swapped a lightweight blanket in for a lot of my heavyweight blankets, a really easy change. And I also just think that adding textiles that have kind of a spring vibe is a really easy way to make your practical things, a blanket, into decor. Same with pillows. A lot of people do not use their pillows and their blankets for practical purposes. They're like on the couch and forbidden. I am not personally like that. If you need a pillow, grab my pretty throw pillow. It's squishy. It's comfortable. You're supposed to use it. So textiles are a great way to bring a little bit of spring and color pattern, anything that feels a little bit more vibrant into your home. And then up here, you saw I just very simply swapped out the previous greens that were in this vase for spring stems. I personally prefer to use one type of stem in a very large arrangement. There are eight stems of this flower in this vase because I feel I am bouquet in it. I can't arrange flowers well when there's more than one type. I don't know. I just, it never looks good to me when I do it. I love it when other people do it. So I stick to really simple, all the same stem, a very large bundle of them together makes an impact. It makes a very easy arrangement. And then I swapped out my previous more dark colored 
candles for these really pretty light candlesticks. And of course the artwork is the stunner. I love this one specifically because it has a dark moody background, which makes it feel like an appropriate transition from the winter months into spring. It's kind of a little bit like of an artistic statement. We're coming out of the dark days of winter into the vibrant days of spring and life is blooming and all will be well. I personally don't decorate seasonally in the bedroom unless maybe I'm just swapping out sheets or popping in a new piece of art, but I do enjoy just folding up blankets and putting them on display, especially if they're neutral or springy colors. Now let's head to the dining room. First step is going to be just to get some of the more wintry vibes out of here. Time for pine branches has come and gone. I'm going to do some really simple swaps. My mom painted this. No, not there. Put you back up. on camera that was almost a disaster. More than it was. Now over here I'm going to simplify because a lot of times the best way to decorate for seasons is to actually remove things. More tulips down there. And since I have a lot of greenery in this general area I'm going to add some of these really pretty, I think they're cherry blossom faux stems to this big old vase. Sometimes we just find whatever towel I can and shove it into things to make it taller. Now I have these really fun, like crazy things. I don't even know what they are supposed to be. If you do, drop it in the comments and let me know what these are called. Um, I think they were called green fuzzy berries on the description and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call them that. <laughs> These fuzzy berries make a huge mess. So I'm gonna try and keep them contained to one space here while I arrange them. But they're actually gonna head into the living room, I think. I love these fuzzy berries so much. Now the reason I do actually like these is the um, whimsy, like kind of crazy and unkept nature of them, which is also why I hate them, because they just don't want to let go of each other. Sometimes a room just needs something kind of wild and untamed, unpolished, a little bit crazy. Oh my gosh! This feels like an appropriate time to say, what is your least favorite part about decorating? This is mine. This better look good when I'm done with it because this has taken me entirely too long. All right, we're going to now, just kind of bend these out so that they're every which way. So it's not so one-sided. And then I'm actually gonna pillage some of this moss from a previous arrangement to tuck in there and cover all of those branches. So that it just kind of looks like there's moss growing on top of my green fuzzy berries. Now for the dining room, I have this interesting bowl. Um, it's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful and I don't display it enough. So I'm actually gonna use it, I love that it is irregular, it is a rock of some kind, I can't remember what it is, quartzite maybe? And so I'm going to just pop some pretty peonies in here, like so. Got a little bit of moss left over to hide a bit of those stems and call it a day for a very simple Centerpiece. Stay. 
final touch. Now I'm not much for dining centerpieces. We actually use our dining table every single day for dinner. And so I like to keep this space just open for food and for dinner plates. We keep our salt and pepper and butter and I like this little marble tray because it always looks pretty and tidy and then I can just pop a little something on there. Now this is feeling overly wintry, so we're gonna swap some of these for some Springer colors. Springer colors, <laughs> that's a new one. I don't really have anywhere else that I like to store these blankets, so when it's not in season, I just kind of shove them all in here. And then, Hope I don't break the basket. And then, I take something that looks more springy and I drape it over top and cover them all up. How's that look, Ellie? <laughs> she gave me a side eye. Do you ever have that one pillow that no one will use? This is that pillow. I, it's not really scratchy. I don't know what the opposition is to it. But since no one's using it, I'm gonna put it here to get a little bit of color in that stack. And then I'm gonna top it with a springy hue. I've recently had a bit of an obsession with buying design books. Thankfully, they're pretty because they're design books. So that's what's going down here for spring decor. Is this bothering anyone else? You can't have one book not be in order of height. Just, what was I thinking? And now in the cabinet, I'm just gonna bring in some spring colors, some greens, some pinks, and call it good. Wait. Maybe I'm not. I could have sworn I had this in here before. It's probably before I added the frame. Took the frame off. More fake tulips. For this one, I really feel like I just need to edit a lot of things. I don't know about this one. I'm coming back to it. I'm not satisfied. Stay tuned. Now, as you watched me pull together the different spaces in my home, I hope that you noticed that really what I was doing is taking away and adding sparingly, but really specifically adding color. Now I only purchased a couple of new stems for this entire spring season. Everything else I had on hand or I moved from one room to the other and I repurposed how I displayed books or how I displayed blankets. And so your decorating doesn't need to be going out and buying all new decor. Sometimes all it is is reimagining what you have. Thanks so much for decorating with me today. I hope that you enjoyed just seeing the little bit of the process. And it is a process. And I think that sometimes that can be forgotten in the world of social media because everything looks like it comes together immediately. I'm gonna have to come back to that cabinet. I don't like how it looks. And that's just a part of decorating. Sometimes you don't get it right the first or second or third or 50th time. Now what I would really love to know is what is your biggest seasonal decorating challenge? Because I feel like maybe it would be fun if you guys present your challenge to me and I try to solve it in an upcoming video. Would we like that? Drop it in the comments and let's chat about it. Thanks for joining me today. Make sure and check out Butcher Box down in the description below. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. And Happy decorating. Stay tuned for more to come. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.